In this video, I'm answering the Edexcel GCSE Paper 2 Foundation Tier Calculator Paper from November 2018. Question 1. Write down the value of the 4 in the number 542.3. The value of the 4 is 40. It's the tens. Four tens, which is 40. Write down a square number that is also an odd number. So a square number that's also an odd number, you can have any of these. So any of one, one squared or three squared, five squared, seven squared, nine squared, 11 squared and so on. So any square number that's also an odd number, you only need one. Change 4,560 grams into kilograms. A thousand grams make a kilogram. So it's 4.56. Change 7.3 meters into millimeters. So a thousand millimeters make a meter. So we're times in by a thousand this time. So we've got 7,300 millimeters. Question four Work out the cube root of 64. So we can use our calculator this time. Just a cube root of 64. So we can use our calculator. So if we get the calculator, the cube root, so we shift cube root 64 and we get an answer of four. Question five, write 0 0.31 as a fraction. 0 0.31 is 31 over 100. Again, if we type 0 0.31 into the calculator, it will convert it to a fraction for us. So 31 over 100. Question six, here are four fractions. Write the fractions in order of size. Start with the smallest fraction. So we can convert all of these to decimals. That's one way of doing it. So three quarters, if we convert three quarters to a decimal. So again, we can use the calculator. Three three quarters and press the S D button 0 0.75. So three quarters is 0 0.75, five sevenths. Five sevenths is 0 0.714. Nineteen twenty fifths. Zero point seven six and eleven fifteenths. Zero point seven three recurring. So which is the smallest? That's 0 0.714, so 5 sevenths. Then the next one, 11 fifteenths. Then 3 quarters. Then 19 twenty fifths. Question 7. 
simplify 3m minus m minus m plus 3m. So remember these are 1m's, these m's by themselves. So 3m's take away 1m is 2m's. Take away another one, that's 1m, and then plus 3m's for m. And part b, simplify, 2 times n times p times 4. So we're going to multiply the two numbers together, which is 2 times 4, which is 8. And we just write np. We don't write a multiplication sign. 8np means 8 times n times p. But we don't use the multiplication sign when we're writing things in algebra. Question 8. A map has a scale of 1 centimeter to 14 kilometers. On the map, the distance between Manchester and London is 18.8 centimeters. What is the real distance? So every centimeter is 14 kilometers. So 18.8 times 14. is 263.2 so 263.2 kilometers question 9 the nth term of a sequence is 3n plus 4 explain why 21 is not in the sequence so we could make it into an equation 3m plus 4 equals 21. And if n is a whole number answer, then it is in the sequence. And if it isn't a whole number, then it's not in the sequence. So if we subtract 4 from both sides, so minus 4, minus 4, 3n equals 17, and n is 17 over 3, which isn't a whole number. So that's one way of doing it. Or we could write down the terms in the sequence. So the first term is 3 times 1 plus 4, which is 7. 3 times 2 plus 4. 3 times 3 plus 4. And it's going up in 3s. And we can see that 21 is not in the sequence, but 19 and 22 are. So 21 is not in the sequence because it is between 19 and 22 which are in the sequence part b here are the first three terms of a different sequence write down two numbers that could be the fourth and fifth terms of this sequence and give a rule you have used to get the numbers. So there's a few different rules you could use. Um, we can plus 1, then plus 2, then plus 3, then plus 4. So it could be plus 3, then plus 4. And the rule being plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. We could double each time. So 1 doubled is 2. 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8, and 8 doubled is 16. So double each time. And there is another one we can use. It's plus 1 plus 2, and then we can go plus 1 plus 2, plus 1 plus 2. So it'll be 5 and 7, and it'll be plus 1 plus 2, plus 1 plus 2 and so on. So any one of those three answers is okay. Question 10. Here is a number machine. So we're going to put an input in, multiply it by 5, subtract 2, and then that gives us our output. So work out the output when we put 8 in. So we're going to multiply 8 by 5, 
which is 40. You can use your calculator if you want. And then subtract 2, which is 38. Work out the input when the output is 28. So the output is 28. We're going to go backwards. So we're going to plus 2. So the opposite of taking 2 away is plusing 2. And then the opposite of times in by 5 is dividing by 5. And that is 6. Question 11. Adam gets a bonus of 30% of £80. Katie gets a bonus of 28 Work out the difference between the bonuses. Work out the difference between the amount Adam gets and the amount Katie gets. So 30% of 80. That's what we need to work out. So there's a few ways of doing it. We can do 0 0.3 times 80 or 30% times 80 or 3 temps. Any, any one of these. So 0 0.3 times 80 is 24. Or just to show you the other way, if I've done 30, then the percent is shift in this bracket times 80. We'll get the same answer of 24. So that's 24 pounds. Katie gets £28. So what's the difference? 28 take away 24. £4. Question 12. There are 49 counters in a bag. 20 are red. The rest are blue. So 49 take away 20. That's 29. So 29 blue. One of the counters is taken at random. Find the probability that it's blue. So how many are blue? 29. Out of how many in total? 49. And that's the probability. Question 13. A square has an area of 81 centimetres squared. So if the area is 81 centimetres squared, we need to know the perimeter. So what are the lengths? So what times itself makes 81? The square root of 81, we could use the calculator, but it is 9. It's 9 centimetres. So what's the perimeter? Four nines, which is 36. Part B, the diagram shows a right angle triangle and a parallelogram. The area of the parallelogram is five times the area of the triangle. And the perpendicular height here is H. We can see that on the diagram. Find the value of H. So we're going to work out the area of the triangle first. So the area of the triangle is going to be the base times the height divided by 2. So it's going to be 9, 9 times 16 divided by 2, which is 72. So 9 times 16 over 2. 72 centimeters squared but the area of the parallelogram is five times this so 72 times five is 360 so the area of the parallelogram is 360 centimeters squared and the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height. So 30 times H 
30 times h equals 360. So what is h? How many 30s make 360? To work that out, we can do 360 divided by 30. And that's 12. Question 14. Victoria throws an ordinary, fair, six-sided dice once. She says the probability of getting a three is half the probability of getting a six. Is Victoria correct? No. So the chance of getting every number on the dice is equal. So the probability... probability of getting a 3 is 1 6 and so is and that is the same that is the same as probability of getting a 6 so I should have written no first there. The probability of getting a 3 is 1 6 and the probability of getting a 6 is also 1 6. Andy throws the dice twice. He says the probability of getting a 6 on both rows is 2 6. Is Andy correct? Again no. So the probability of getting a 6 on both rows is 1 6 times 1 6 which is 1 in 36. The probability is 1 in 36. Indra throws the dice once. She also throws a coin to get heads or tails list all the possible outcomes so we've got one head one in head two in head three in head four in head five in head and six in head and all the numbers on the dice with a tower as well so they're all the possible outcomes you can get one with a head or a tail two with a head or a tail three with a head or a tail, and so on. Question 15. Remy invests £600 for five years in a savings account. By the end of the five years, he's received a total of £75 simple interest. Work out the annual rate. So each year, so £75 divided by 5 so each year he gets 15 pounds so 15 pounds each year and what is that as a percentage so it's out of 600 it's 15 out of 600 so what is that as a percentage 15 divide 600 and I'll times it by 100 to make it a percentage. So that's 2.5%. So times 100 to make it a percentage. So 15 divided by 600 times 100. And that's 2.5. So it's 2.5%. Question 16. We've got two shapes A and B. And we've got to describe the transformation to get A onto B. So it's a reflection and it's in the x-axis. So reflection in the x-axis.
question 17. Adrian is going to make concrete. He's going to use 180 kilograms of cement, 375 kilograms of sand, and 1,080 kilograms of stone. They're sold in bags, and we're given how much in each bag. And this is what he has. So he's got 10 bags of cement. So 10 times 25. So he's got 250 kilograms of cement. So he's got enough. He's got, he's 180. He doesn't need any more. 20 bags of sand. So 20 times 22.5. 20 times 22.5, 450. So he's got 450 kilograms of sand. So he's got enough. And stone, he's got 20 bags of 50 kilograms, which is going to be a thousand. So 1,000 kilograms. So has he got enough? No, he needs 80 more. So he needs 80 kilograms of stone. That's what he needs. Work out what bags he needs. So he's going to have to buy two bags of stone. One bag is 50 kilograms. So he's going to need two bags. So two bags of stone. Question 18. Bill wants to increase 150 by 3%. He writes down 150 times 1.3 equals 195. Bill's method is wrong. Explain why. So Bill has added on 30%. Times him by 1.3 adds on 30%. He wanted to times by 1.03 to add on 3%. So Bill should have multiplied by 1.03. All right, he added on. 30%. Sally wants to decrease 150 by 3%. Complete this statement to show how Sally can decrease 150 by 3%. So what do you multiply by in one calculation to decrease by 3%? So you want to decrease by 3%. You start with 100%. You take off 3%. So what do you want? You want to work out 97%. And how do you write 97% as a decimal? It's 0 0.97. So in one calculation, you can take off 3% by multiplying by 0 0.97. So 150 times 0 0.97 and that's 145.5. Question 19. Solve three times X minus four equals 12. So we could expand the brackets first. So three times X, that's three X. And 3 times negative 4, it's going to be a negative. 3 4s are 12. And that equals 12. So we're solving the equation. We want to get x by itself. So I'm going to get rid of the minus 12 by adding 12 to both sides. So I've got 3x equals 12 plus 12, 24. And I've got 3 times x at the moment. I want to get x by itself, 
So I'm going to divide by 3. So 24 over 3, and that is 8. Part B, factorize fully. So what can I take outside the brackets? I've got 9 and 3. They're both in the 3 times table. So I can take 3 on the outside. And I've also got a B in both of my terms. So I can take a B to the outside as well. So 3B times what makes 9B? 3B times 3 makes 9B. And 3B times what makes 3B squared? 3B times a B makes 3B squared. And that is factorized fully. Question 20. So we've got a set which includes all the even numbers between 1 and 25. So we're going to start in the middle and work out here. So if there's any numbers in A, B and C, so A is 2, 8, 10 and 14, B is 6, 8 and 20, and C is 8, 18, 20 and 22. So anything in all of them is going to go in the middle of all three circles on the Venn diagram that we are being asked to draw. So 8 is in all three of them. It's in A, in B, and in C. So that's going to go in the middle. There's nothing else in the middle. And there's nothing A and B have got in common. But there is something B and C have got in common. They've both got a 20. So between B and C, but not in the middle bit with A as well, we've got a 20. And then we just fill out what's in A. So 2, 10 and 14 are in A only. 6 is in B only. And 18 and 22 are in C only. So what's missing? What goes on the outside? We want all even numbers between 1 and 25. So we've got 2 already. We don't have 4 yet, so that's on the outside. We've got 6, 8, 10. We need 12. 14. We need 16. We've got 18, 20, 22, and we need 24. So that should be all the even numbers between 1 and 25 in our Venn diagram. A number is chosen at random. Find the probability that it's a member of A and B. So how many are in A and B? There's only one of them. There's only one number in A and B. And that's out of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's one in A and B out of 12 in total. Question 21. Sean has information about the height in centimetres and the weight in kilograms of 10 rugby players. He's asked to draw a scatter graph in a line of best fit. Here is his answer. He's plotted the points accurately. Write two things wrong. So we can see straight away that his line of best fit isn't very accurate it doesn't fit the points very well it doesn't fit the correlation it should have it should be going up in the same direction as the points so the line of best fit and something else to look for is the gaps how linear these um the scale is and you can see 150 is missing from the heights so it goes up by 20, then 10, then 10. So there's two things wrong there. So 150 is missing 
from the height scale and the line of best fit is not in line with the correlation. It doesn't fit the correlation. Okay, question 22. So BEG is a triangle. So we can see BEG drawn here. ABC and DEF are parallel lines. Work out the size of angle X. Give a state, give a reason for each stage of your working. So we're going to work out angle X. So we're going to work out the angles, these two angles in the triangle. And then we know the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So this angle here, BEG, is going to be 180, take away 110 and 25, because angles on a straight line add up to 180. So we can use the calculator, 180, take away the 110 and the 25 and that is 45 so that's 45 degrees and that's because angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees And for this other angle, we can even use co-interior angles or alternate angles. So either one, if we use co-interior angles, so here we've got two parallel lines. So we've got co-interior angles and co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees as well. So 180 take away 110 is 70. So ABE is 70. And that's because co interior angles add to 180 degrees. And now we've got angles in a straight line AN. So 180 take away 70 take away 35. And that's for EBG. Thirty-five. Hundred and eighty take away. 70 take away 35 is 75 and that's because angles on a straight line add to 180 degrees so we've got 75 degrees here and finally, angles in a triangle add up to 180. So X is 180, take away 75, and take away 45 which is 60 degrees. And angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees is our reason.
question 23. Northern Bank has two types of account. Both accounts pay compound interest. So we've got a cash saving account, which is 2.5% per annum, 2.5% a year, and a shares account, which pays 3.5% a year. So Ali's going to invest 2000 in the savings account. Ben's going to invest 1600 in the shares account. And who will get the most interest by the end of three years? So we've got 2000 pounds for Ali. We're going to add on two and a half percent a year. So we're going to do that in one calculation. A hundred percent plus two and a half percent is a hundred and two and a half percent. And it's a decimal that's one point zero two five. For three years. So we're going to write cubed on it. So we can write that in the calculator. Two thousand times 1.025 cubed and we've got 2,153 pounds 78 215378 so how much interest is that so the new amount take away 2000, which is going to be 153 pounds 78 pence. So how about Ben? So we've got 1,600 pounds this time. We're going to add on three and a half percent a year. So that's multiplying by 1.035. And again, for three years, so it's cubed. 1,600 times 1.035 cubed. So 1,773 pounds 90, 95 to two decimal places. So 1773.95. So how much interest is that? Take away one. 1,600, so the interest is £173.95, so who will get the most interest? Ben. In the third year, the rate of interest for the shares account is changed to 4%. Does this affect who will get the most interest? So he's going to get 3.5% for two years, and then 4% in the third year. Will that change who gets the most? Well, no, Ben will get even more money, and Ben already had more, so it won't change who gets the most. No, because Ben will get more interest and he already gets more than Ali question 24 the diagram shows a floor in the shape of a trapezium. John is going to paint the floor. So it's going to be area. And five litre tins. Let's work out the area first, I think. So the area of a trapezium, we can either split it up. So we've got triangles and a rectangle. Or we can do the average of the parallel sides so half the sum of the parallel sides so 10 plus 16 the two parallel sides divided by 2 times the height 
So we can type that into the calculator. And that's 91. So 91 meters squared. Each five litre tin of paint costs 16.99, and one litre of paint covers two metres squared. So how many litres will you need? So we're going to half the area, and that's going to tell us how many litres we need. So 91 divided by 2, 45.5. So 91 over 2, so we need 45.5 litres. How many tins do we need? So they're coming in 5 litres. So we need well 9.1, 9.1 tins. We can't buy 9.1 tins, so we're going to have to buy 10 tins. So 10 tins of paint, and they're 16.99 each. So that's going to be 169 pounds and 90 pence. John has 160 pounds. Has he got enough money? No. Question 25. A is the point with coordinates 5, 9. B is the point with coordinates D and 15. The gradient of the line AB is 3. Work out the value of D. So to work out the gradient of a line, we can use the formula. The gradient, M, is the change in the Y, Y2 minus Y1, divided by the change in the X, X2 minus X1. So we'll call these X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and M is 3. So if we substitute all this in, we get 3 equals 15 minus 9 over D minus 5. So 3 is equal to 15 minus 9 is 6 over D minus 5. You can probably see what D is going to be there, but let's um, multiply both sides by D minus 5. So 3 times D minus 5 equals 6. And if I expand the bracket, 3D minus 15 equals 6. I'm going to plus 15 to both sides. 6 plus 15 is 21. And divide both sides by 3. So D equals 7. Question 26. Expand and simplify. So 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 5x times a negative 3 is negative 15x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So we've got 10x squared negative 15 plus 4 is negative 11x and a minus 6. So it's expanded and simplified. So that's our answer. And part B factorise. So it's going to be double brackets, x in both. What multiplies to make 3 and adds to make 4? There's only two numbers that multiply to make 3. They're 3 and 1. Question 27. Write the number 0 
7547 in standard form. We can try and type it in the calculator and it might convert it for us. So that's four zeros. And then 7547. Yep, 7.547 times 10 to the power of minus five. Write 3.42 times 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number. Let's try again. Thirty-four thousand two hundred, and finally work out. Definitely use the calculator. So two point three times ten to the power of four, times six point seven, times ten to the power of three, over five, times ten to the power of negative eight and I've got 3.082 times 10 to the power of 15.